hi you guys uh can you see my face this this glasses is actually blocking my eye <laughs> i'm back on your screens again um yeah let's thank god for this beautiful weather because the weather is so good the lighting is good so yeah as you guys can see um today we're going to talk there's no vlog today no vlog no going out nothing we're talking and talking about something serious so um and don't mind my voice please i'm not really feeling too well these past few days but i'm i'm healing you know i'm healing i'm healed so yeah that's that so as you guys can see from the title today i'm going to be talking about my daniel's fast experience um it's been a while since i did it. i did it in the month of june which is two months from now i mean two months ago <laughs> two months ago and it was really a very um good experience i don't know how to describe it again except to say that it's good you know it filled me it taught me a lot of things and it just changed me like from this to that general so yeah i'm going to be talking about that and it's going to be conversation you get so yeah i have my laptop here i've written down some of the points i so that you know to keep me in track um concerning what i have to say i hope you guys can hear me though like and i hope you guys are doing good because yeah i mean i'm back well, i'm no more on the holiday as you guys can see and i hope you guys liked the um south carolina vlog because um i liked it too you know i hope you guys liked it so yeah in case you guys don't know for some of you that don't know or have no head what daniel's fast is daniel's fast is is just basically a fast that is taken from the book of daniel in the bible so in this book of daniel it had to like version should i say there's one of 10 days and there's one of 21 days so in the bible the story is just about how daniel um refused to eat from the king's um kitchen should i say like refused to eat the king's meal like the rest did and i think to prove that god i can actually do the same and even better with him just eating fruits and vegetables so that's what he was eating for 10 and 21 days and me personally i did 21 days um version of it that was my first time so that's what daniel's fast is you only eat fruits vegetables and water no meat no wine no bread no leavened bread that's like bread with yeast and stuff like that so how i actually um came across this fast I've, since i gave my life to christ and i saw tiktoks videos and everything right i knew of it like i know what daniel's fast is about but i never and i was like mm, i'll actually do it but not now like someday i will do it so i've been wanting to do it but i don't know what was stopping me i just didn't know should i say i did not find it necessary um to to start it at that point in time until june so out of nowhere it was like beginning of june my best friend Tokun, um she texted me and she was like she was going to go off social media and everything and i was like uh okay um, i mean we do that like from time to time but she said that this one is going to be so long that it's going to be months i was like eh? <laughs> i mean as you guys know she's like she's in school she's not with me like we're, we have not met to get um, each other since february since she left for school and for her to go off like that long i was like eh? it's not possible <laughs> but she was like yeah that she needed it that she just missed the feeling that she needs to go on break and also she's going for a fast i was like which fast so she said daniel's fast i was like okay that's that's a good idea and she was like why don't you join to like i mean we should we both just go on break and actually do this fast because it, i think it's also her first time too if i'm not wrong i think right right so it was also her first time and everything and i was like okay and to be honest i feel that she was the push that i needed like as, as if god just sent her to me to like just stop this thing immediately i mean like i kept on procrastinating and like i'll do it later i'll do it someday i'll do it i'll do it shower run now you know that type of stuff so she just like pushed me and we did the fast for 21 days it was from the beginning of june i can't remember the specific date until like 21 days i think we started on the 6th there about and finished on the 27th i don't know but it's 21 days three weeks and to be honest before we started 
we had to like prepare for it because this fast is not about the fast of like it's not the fast that you just do from this time to this time that you break it it's straight 21 days i didn't eat meat i didn't eat um bread no just fruits and vegetables with water um and that time i was still in nigeria uh so the food was not really it we didn't have so much varieties of food like me personally i did not so it's just some certain vegetables and fruits i was eating and guy it was hard like it was hard and that is what i'm going to be talking about you guys so that's how i came about like how i started the fast in the first place so before the fast as i said we were preparing for it like token and i like we're writing down the purpose of the fast what do you want to achieve on the fast and everything like that um i wrote down my plan or the purpose i want or like the things i want to achieve in this fast i wrote them down and um should i say that god just flopped everything like as if i wrote it in a paper and i gave him and he just took it and threw it and threw it away <laughs> i was like so that's it okay let me just check my laptop to see what i have because the things that i wrote down in my um to do should i say like in the list i want god just like you don't know what you're doing to yourself just give me that paper he tore it and threw it away that's how it was it's just an illustration though but that's how it was so um that brings me to the first point of this video it's going to be so long i'm sorry you're just going to listen to me which is good for you so as i said token is the one that brought me this idea she's the one that pushed me into this and made me start the fast in the first place that brings you to the first point of your circle like your circle of people the people you put yourself around is really really important so the first the first point is that the people you put yourself and you surround yourself with is really important because um they are going to influence you in one way or another if you say that like don't worry i know what i want i know where i'm supposed to go i know what i want to do that they're just my friends they're not going to really it's a lie they're going to affect you in one way or another without you knowing because they are always around you and faith faith comes by hearing and also is fear so whatever you hear whatever you expose yourself to is really important so you have to watch out for like actually the people you put yourself around and especially if you are new in this journey of crime um, being with christ you actually have to cut off a lot of people if they don't um, actually support and bring you closer to god because without you knowing i mean you can't you can't just eat your cake and have it. If you choose to be with Christ, you actually have to follow him. And the ones that don't support, the ones that don't push you closer to him has to be just, just, just got them off. So it's very important to have like the right circles and people around you, you know? So that's the first point. And then, um, should, I, should we start from the first day? Very first day of the Daniel's fast. I will not say I changed drastically, but I know that I there are like certain areas in my life that I know have like changed. Like, is no is no um what's the name? It's not the same anymore. You get so. The very first day, it was a Monday, of the Daniel's fast. God just slapped me across the face. Like he did not even wait for me to actually let me be like just go two three days into it. The very first day, he just slapped me with a message of gluttony. <laughs> He just put it in front of me like, okay, this is what I'm teaching you the very first day. Like, I just woke up from sleep. I was like, okay, today's my first day of the Daniel's fast. And he just showed me a message of gluttony from um, Transformation Church. I'll link the someone down below in the description box. So you guys, if you want to see it, you watch. So um, the message of gluttony, if you guys don't know, gluttony is just eating too much. Like eating more than what you're supposed to eat, you know, just in excess portion. I don't know <clears throat> i don't know what it really means but that's the idea you have you should have for it so and actually i never knew i actually had a problem with food until i saw that message i never knew i actually had a problem and i never knew that food was an idol in my life like with food i found comfort with food i found peace with food i found enjoyment found excuse me found is not find is in the past so and well um, instead of the Holy Spirit being your comforter, God being your peace and where you find delight in the Lord, I made food my idol. I never knew food was my idol. So when, when, when I heard, when I like listened to that message, I was like, ah, 
so food was an idol in my life i was like wow i never knew it i always eat food like whenever i'm not hungry like when i'm I don't know just like i'll just be eating with even with them when i'm not hungry even when i'm full i'll just continue eating which is very bad you know and i you know sometimes after eating all this type of things um i'll just feel so guilty for eating it because i knew i don't need it i didn't feel hungry and you know that feeling of guilt was there and everything like that so god just gave me that message of gluttony on the very first day and i was like okay you have to chew something already okay very good and then that was it you guys and then as i said uh during the fast i also took a break like i deleted all my social medias i uninstalled it actually i i had access to internet yes but i just like um froze the apps tiktok snapchat i froze um whatsapp and instagram too all of those are the four apps even netflix too i like i froze everything I just did not want to have anything social during that 21 days. I only told Tokun and two of my close friends and uh, my family. So I realized that in the time of me going off social media and just focusing myself on God during the 21 days of Daniel's fast, I um, became more sensitive to God's presence and which is proving to the point that you can't listen to both the world and God at the same time. I'm not saying that you listen to the world of like, oh, you, you're sinning and you're doing these things, you're listening to secular. No, I'm saying that you're listening to the world means like you're not giving enough room, you're not giving enough um, attention to God because his voice is really small yet still. So that's what I realized. So the first thing I learned and during the fast was that I realized that God's voice is really small yet so still. Like I realized that all those times God has been speaking to me but I've always like pushed it aside because I was not paying attention to it. So I now notice like I learned how and how to identify which is God's voice and which is not you get. So that's what I first learned and then um, the next thing that I discovered in the fast was um, I... Um, God actually revealed and opened up old wounds in me like I'm not going to talk about it <laughs> no but the point is he just opened up um, the things that I've been burying inside like old wounds basically he exposed them like he showed me what it is and um, I don't know I, I will not say he actually healed them because I mean I'm still in the process of healing I'm still in the process of actually learning from my mistakes you get but for the fact that I never knew it was there and God revealed them to me is really a big step and that's what he did to me during these 21 days. God gave me the gift of dreams like he gives me visions, he gives me dreams which is really really nice to talk about. I never knew I would actually have it <laughs> but as you know in the Bible it said that um, Christ is, uh, is the whole body and we are the members so if my gift is this your gift can't necessarily be the same or might not be the same because i mean the whole body doesn't consist of only hands and legs you get so it has different members so your gift might be different from my own and my own is different from yours so um god has blessed me with the gift of dreams and visions i usually see things and things like that so during this 21 days he made it so vivid like he would be giving me dreams on daily basis and as I said, I was not on social media, so I have time to actually listen and ask God what the meaning is that he's been clearing it, like he's been showing, showing it to me very clear. Before I started this fast, I've been having dreams though. Before I started the fast, if I have a dream and I wake up, like the moment I wake up, I will forget whatever it is that I dreamt, but I know that I dreamed about something I can't remember. So when I started the fast from time to time, I actually didn't have that problem again. I'll remember it as if it's just now that, like, as if I can see it eye to eye, you know, the dream and he will give me the meaning and his dreams that things are going to happen or just a warning, you know, that everything is just in, it's just clearer. So that's the whole point. So as I said, it's 21 days. It was a really long period for me and I didn't have access to social media. So I was just like live. I wasn't having any external influence or anything. So i learned and I, he just made me to be so grateful on the where i am like here where i am is holy so those 21 days i was just at home with my siblings my family and he made me 
realize the value of where and what he has given me where i am and what he has given me which is my family and my siblings um at some points in my life to be honest this is me being transparent with you i usually complain should i say or just like ask god uh, why should i be like a firstborn of one two three four five siblings <laughs> sorry i have to count it <laughs> five siblings and i'm the firstborn and all of them are like still young and everything so and in case you don't know being a firstborn is really really hard and basically you're yeah, the second parent whenever your mom and dad is not around so um he made me realize where i am and the things i used to complain about which is being a big sister is the exact same thing that he has turned around to be my biggest testimony <laughs> so it was really nice to know and were really nice to realize that and he just made me to be so sensitive and being more grateful you know for what he has given me and where and the fact that i'm a big sister he made me to be so grateful for it yeah and then um my relationship with my siblings improved i got to spend more time with them and things like that you know if you notice um you, you might think that daniel's fast you know is actually a breakthrough is a transformation period i won't say it's only like spiritual terms because god works in every area of your life so even though yeah he he made my dreams clear he can sp like i know how he speaks and i know how his voice sounds like he also transforms the physical like the day-to-day -day area of my life basically which is like my family so it's not really all about spiritual and stuff is god is everywhere in our lives so just so just so you know and then um biggest point should i say that i experienced was the time i had live encounter with the holy spirit not that i was speaking in tongues i was seeing fire on my head and stuff like that but it's just that um i don't know it was still like the middle of the should i say the second week the second week of the fast i um uh, i was just at home with my siblings right i'm not going to tell the whole story but basically i was i'm the type of person that shouts a lot especially to my siblings so how i encountered the holy spirit live in action was when um i don't know my siblings were just playing having i was in the kitchen preparing my meal and everything uh and then i heard one of them shouting that it started crying and everything and then i was like i went to check i was really in panic uh and then when i went to check it was just something small but then where i felt the holy spirit so strong was that i wanted to shout i wanted to like scold my brother for it for actually making me to panic for no reason but immediately i opened my mouth i just said the exact opposite like i never knew i was actually going to say like as if i wanted to shout okay i, I think i wanted to shout why are you shouting you know that's what i wanted to shout at that's what i opened my mouth to say but when i opened my mouth i just said it's fine i'm like eh <laughs> I'm like, hey, what is happening? Like, who is that? Who is that talking? And to be honest, when I when I heard myself saying that, and I was like, no, guy, what is what is this? And me, I'm the type of person that doesn't show um, physical love gestures that much, especially in front of my siblings. Like, I love them, but I will not let them know I love them. <laughs> Something like that. But when I opened it, and actually now open my arms to give my like to embrace my brother i was like guy what is happening to me like what is this i just felt this sense of love i felt this i just felt this as if i was just possessed like with something i was influenced i was being controlled by something that is not me and to be honest i was like so confused and i was like eh, me i'm hugging my brother what what is going on it's so cringe like to think about it but yet yeah, so 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 good i was like wow i didn't shout you guys i opened my mouth to shout by what came out is not what i wanted to say so i was like okay so at that point i felt the presence of the holy spirit within me and within like ourselves my parents were now around that time it was just me and my siblings at home i think they were on break or something so i was like wow this is really crazy 
<laughs> really crazy. I never knew I'd actually come across that, but God did that for me. I felt the Holy Spirit so strongly that time, and it was just so good. I will never forget it in my life. And then the last thing I want to say is that um, also, I'm sorry if I'm going like just roaming about the points, but that's how I talk basically. Even though I have the points, I'm not even following it. So, and then as I said, I was off social media, and God made me realize like he actually gave me another way to listen to him so um in the morning if i wake up i do my devotions but i have my quiet time and everything i tend to like write down all the things that have been happening you know, the progress i've been making um throughout the fast so even though i do not write like with pen and paper i type them on my phone and he actually exposed like he revealed to me that he speaks to me when I'm writing. Like as I'm writing about something, the Holy Spirit will just be dropping points on my head. Like he'll just be making me realize um, old mistakes or he'll just like show me this event where I went wrong or oh, this thing that happened, this is what you should like. You know, as I'm writing, I'll be writing them down and he'll just be revealing those things to me. And I was like, wow. So that's another thing. Like God can speak to you through so many ways, you guys. And that's what I realized in my own um, journey of Daniel's fast. It was really, really, really intense. Like I can write. Like there was a mo there was one morning I was writing. I think I started writing around seven thirty, and I finished around ten. I've been nine thirty to ten. My battery went down, and the notes like is like novel. <laughs> so I was like, wow. So that's what I also saw. That's what God revealed to me too. Um, to be honest, God is just so good because had it been I did not start. I would have been delaying myself of all these blessings, of all this knowledge of God and how he is and how he speaks to me personally, you know? So that's that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Talking about the fast, like on the eating part now. Um, okay, as I said, as I said at the beginning of the video, as I said that um, I wrote down all the purpose in the paper and God just snatched it from me and tore it and threw it away. It's just an illustration. Is it was just an illustration um, to prove that when I started the fast, I was like already writing. Okay, God, this is what I want. I want to have clarity on this and this and that. But when the fast started, at the end of the day, at the end of the whole Daniel's fast experience, God has another purpose for me. So that's what I meant with that um, statement. Like He had another whole um, plan, another whole scheme, another whole plot twist on its own that he wants to do so it shows that God is actually an unchanging God like whatever he says whatever plan he has for you no matter if it's you yourself they will beg and they will do 21 or 72 days of fasting he will not change it Abby I don't think he will change it because what he has said what he has written like I mean he knows all the days you are going to pass through he knows that this day I'm going to record it after so much of procrastination so like before you were even formed in your mother's womb, he has planned every single day of your life according to his word. So that's, that's just the whole thing that he proved that time. I had my own plans, but his own plan still prevails, not mine. Okay, so yeah, yep, yep, yep. Um, and then now going to the eating part. As I said, I was in Nigeria that time and to be honest, I only had like limited recipes to to eat maybe i'll just the vegetables i mainly buy was carrot cabbage um green beans um what else onions uh then what else <laughs> it was not so much but i mainly took um i took fruits i had oats um and water that's basically it, it wasn't so much of recipes like i used to see in youtube and that's the thing, if you guys want to do, like, if you want to try this Daniel fast, if you want to give it a try, which is, I recommend you should, it's not about the food, okay? Like, in you, like, you don't get, you know, all these videos. I mean, obviously, you do your research on how the fast should be done, but the main focus should not be on the food, but what you're actually going to get, you know, what, but the purpose of the fast you get. Like, I know that, I mean, the main purpose of fast is to abstain yourself and to actually keep distance from food, you know. But, you know, in Daniel's fast, you are allowed to eat. 
but let the food not be the main focus that's just my my point like let it not be that oh i'm doing this fast so that let me see you are not going on a diet you're not you're not trying to be a vegetarian no you're going on a fast so the main focus should be on like what you can achieve and what you want your relationship with god to be and all this type of stuff not the food but still um physically i reduced like as i said in the first day of the fast i had a message of gluttony and at the end of the month at the end of the three weeks or the end of the 21 days experience i didn't have the appetite to actually just take food and like that again like as i said there was no sugar at all for these 21 days no sugar no bread no milk no eggs which is something i really love there was none of those things and i discovered and realized that at the end of the fast i actually didn't have the appetite anymore so it's good i did not have now i don't have so much appetite for all those sweet things all those ice cream um, i don't know it just makes me sick now which is good <laughs> i just don't have the appetite anymore i mean i still take them but not as much as before you know so yeah it's still progressing even though sometimes i feel i go back to food but now i know what it is i'll link down the message so you guys can hear the full thing in the description below <sighs> so that was it you guys mm. the first was really changing and also if you guys want to start you have to be careful on like as you do research it's not everything on the internet you believe and even though as you're watching my video, if there are some things you find hard to believe and things you just don't agree with what I say, I will please, you do, you should actually pray about it and ask God for directions because it's only him that says the truth, you know. Not everything on the internet about God is what you should believe. So I will recommend you should like actually pray about it. And if you want to start, don't just start, oh, okay, don't worry. No, I'm hearing, like, I've heard, I've seen this video now. I've seen, and I know what the real fast is. Let me start tomorrow. No, don't do that. You have to prepare yourself. Like, it's the 21 days. It's never ending until the 21 days is over. There's no break in between. Like, it's straight 21 days. So, you have to prepare yourself, like, to know, okay, what you're going to do. Okay, this is the time. If you're going to school, you have to, like, make out time on like this is when i'm going to be spending time with god this is what i'm going to keep aside all this type of stuff just by yourself okay and then um it was really good of 21 days and as i said the first day i had a message of gluttony and on the last day god showed me and he revealed to me through the message of rest it's also from the same transformation church and i feel it wasn't it wasn't a coincidence at all it was god's plan all the way and i will link the message down below too for you to see so you feel what i'm saying because sometimes i just talk about i'll just go wild and talk about off like i'll just go off point he showed me the value of um, you actually taking a break from the media from like the world and just being by yourself with god in his presence and all this other stuff um i'll just link down the message for both gluttony and rest down as i said so you guys will see i don't know if you guys would want me to do another video um separately about like the recipes and the food i take because i'm telling you in nigeria it is hard <laughs> unless you have like the i mean i live in the mainland so it was just market i can go to to get all those vegetables so if you guys want another video on like the recipes or what I eat during my Daniel's fast and stuff, just let me know. I can do it. And yeah. <sighs> so you guys, that was it. My Daniel's, well, Daniel's fast experience was so good. And as I said, I was off social media, right? So when I came back, when I came back on, I felt like the highest person in the room like it it felt so good to actually come back refreshed and that's the whole point of rest actually if you guys watch it message you know what i'm saying and i suggest you should watch both of them so i, I feel really refreshed i feel that like i'm a new person and yeah that's just it glory be 
to the Almighty God because um, I did that fast. It was really, really life changing, even though it's not like life changing overnight. But there are a lot of things that I have discovered that I have left behind and I have stopped doing bad habits and mistakes. Like I'm now like, like I'm just a whole different person. Like at this point from then like there are some things that I was doing now I'm no more doing it again you know just a lot of differences from like in between these times so yeah that was my experience I'm sorry if I went off point but you get the whole thing <laughs> if there are any questions you guys can ask in the comment and I'll answer you because yeah my truth is so dry so that was my daniel's first experience you guys it was my first time of doing it and i would definitely do it again i think the end of the year i should do it again because it, it just feels right it feels so good and you really as a christian as a child of god you need to actually sort out time for you and god that's i mean it's an act of worship you know it's showing that he's important in your life you know and that type of stuff so Thank you guys for watching i pray that this video um speaks to you and just maybe clarify some things that you're having doubts in and i would really really recommend for you to try this fast because i mean i'm not forcing you to you try when you're ready but you know you can never know what you have until you actually step into it so i recommend you guys to try out this fast with so much expect expectations in your heart and you just open up and surrender everything to God to do what he has to do with you through you and for you so yeah that was that's the whole video <laughs> that's the whole thing about this uh, you guys cannot see my face I mean I did a whole yeah I recommend you guys should do it it will change your life I promise you is really a good um experience so if you're looking for a sign if you're looking for a confirmation on whether you should do the fast or not here is me sending you to go and do it start it next week or next month just make sure you do it because it's the greatest decision you can ever make this year one of them maybe so yes you guys thank you for watching thank you for listening me listening to me talking about this Whole experience of mine <sighs> thank you and I pray as you listen as you have watched this video everything you are going to be encouraged in one way or another so thank you so much for watching see you in the next one and um, I mean episode 2 of being in the world is coming out very soon oh it's coming out very soon so you guys just be expecting fire contents both in vlog part and in the faith part of this journey of being a christian it's fire both sides so yeah thank you so much for watching i love you but god loves you more Ta -da!